everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor, the Art Impressions Way. And this week we're going way, way back. Uh, this project is from Project Series 1. So this is the very first project series that was released way back when. I've never done a video on it. And so I want to um, I want to take a week and do that, show you how to, how to color this little girl. We're going to do her a little different than what's on the package. Uh, but I want to show you that you can do lots of different things with this. So super easy. Uh, this is a really quick and easy little project and I think you're gonna really like it so we need uh, in addition to uh, project series one um, we're gonna need the foliage set and that would be the small grass in the foliage set in the flower set um, we need the little daisy the little daisy bunch in the new uh, flower set so this is the newest release we're gonna use these little flowers right here and then in the new foliage set, this little tiny vine right here, use this one a ton. And for these little projects where you have this foliage in the background, uh, and in this case, we're gonna put that foliage into her little dress. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start out by stamping that image. And I'm actually using a stamp press this time because uh, that image is pretty big and I don't have a block to fit that size. So I'm gonna use my stamp press, it's a Fiskar stamp press and your uh, rubber stamp will just adhere to it. And you can see it's got a uh, grid line so you can make sure that it's straight. And we're just going to ink this in the sepia. So we're gonna ink this whole thing. The little girl, the skin tones, everything. We're gonna ink her in the sepia. And by the way, it's really easy to change the skin tone of her. You can change her ethnicity really easily and that's just by layering color onto her skin. So. Uh, that's also really easy to do. Okay, so we're going to stamp her now, and I've got my uh, paper actually portrait, so that's up and down because I do have quite a large image here. And I just want to make sure I get that on here really well, and you can see that just springs back. So these little foam feet press down, and then they spring back when you have your image stamped. So I've got her on here now, and she's all stamped. So we're going to now take our brush and water and pull the color out of the lines. That's always the starting spot. So we're gonna just drag some of this color out. We wanna keep it really light. So really light. And that just means you don't wanna to collect too much color onto your brush. And just do a little bit to get started. We're gonna do more of this after we add the color to her dress. So we're gonna come back and do a little more. We're just kinda of getting started here. Her little shoes are pretty solid, so we can just pull that color out. Okay, that's a good starting starting point. So now we're gonna start with the little decorative flowers that are in her dress. And we're gonna start out by putting these little flowers in. And that's just the little daisy bunch. So this one, and we're only gonna use a couple of these. So there's actually three, four, five little blooms on here. We're only gonna use two, just two. And just kind, you're still gonna walk this in a circle, but we're just gonna add uh, these little um, blooms just kind of all over. So space them out. Think about how a pattern would go. So in between, like this, and up in here. Down in here, we'd get just a little bit. And just keep working your way around here. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, it's just the idea of this pattern on her dress, so don't worry about getting all of these little um, areas in perfect. Let's just do one more over here in the corner, just like that. And then let's go back in now and do the foliage. So before we add water to this, uh, let's get the foliage in here. So we're gonna stamp, we're gonna eat that in the green. So this is the olive green, and by the way, that was um, the bright pink, that was the number 55, iris purple. So we're just going to ink a few of these little um, vines in here. So just a couple of times. I kind of start out with all of them on one side first and then I switch hands and do the other side, but you can do it however you are comfortable doing it. So I'm, I'm Stamping it about three times on each side. And again, we're just, this is just the idea of it. So we're just getting this color in here. And then I'm gonna switch, switch hands and I'm gonna go on the left side. So 
this over here. And again, they don't have to be perfect. By the time we add the water, um, we're gonna blend this color so much that it's it's not gonna be noticeable. I think that's the one of the hardest things for people with this technique is that it really doesn't have to be perfect. And sometimes we want everything to be just exactly the same. And actually, most of the times it turns out better if we don't worry about that too much. Okay, let's put one more, I think, in here. And I think we've got pretty much uh, all of these little flowers covered. You can always come back in. So if you see that you've missed a little bit or you want to add a little more color somewhere, you can always come back in and do that later. Okay, so now we're going to add our water to it. And let's start out with this bright pink. And just kind of dabbing. Dip your brush off and just dab. They're just kind of blending this color. Just dab. Your no brush strokes. You know, we're not brushing anything. We're just kind of dabbing at this color. Just we want it to be soft and a little abstract. So you can obviously tell that this is flowers, but We don't really need to see the definite lines of the flowers. Okay, so now let's go in here and do the vines. And just brush this in, or dab it in, I should say. Just jump your brush around, so easy. And you can see how that just changes everything. It just changes the whole look of this. And you can see that it doesn't matter. You know, by the time you add the water to it, it just changes the image so much that it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It's perfectly stamped, which is a huge reason why I love this technique so much. You know, when you're in a hurry, uh, it's really nice that you don't have to do things perfectly. And it just seems like we are in a hurry so much. Okay, so we've got the little dress in here. How cute is that? And you can blend some more of this brown, uh, the sepia, a little bit more in here. So easy. So let's add some color now to her skin tone. And that would be using the, um, the number 16 pale orange. So we're gonna use a little of this color this is a really light color. And the more that you brush this on, uh, the darker this color is gonna get. So this is what I mean by changing the ethnicity of this little girl. You can change her so easily. Uh, still keep this area uh, where her eyes are. You wanna keep that pretty light in here. Keep that pretty light. Let this dry and put another coat on here. And so you're just going to keep brushing this on. Just like this. Let's add a little color now for her hair. This is sepia again. And let's make this really dark in here. Let that dry just for a minute and then we can come back in and add some more color again. Make sure this is really dark in here. Okay. Let's add some of this pink now onto the palette. That's that iris purple. And we're gonna add some color now to this little bow on her hat. Stay inside the lines. So make sure you don't cross over the lines. Even when you're doing these tiny little areas, just stay inside the lines. So otherwise we are gonna make it flat and that's what we're trying to avoid. We don't want anything to look flat. Put that color in, carefully put that color in just like that. And let's pull some of this color now out of the lines on her little hat. Just a little bit, leave a highlight on here. It's so hard to leave things uncolored. Uh, we just, you know, we learn that when we're in elementary school and then it's really hard to leave these light areas and you're gonna be so much happier if you don't color everything in solid. It just makes such a difference. Some of this color out now. This little basket in your hand. These are tiny little lines, so it doesn't take much to do this. Let's 
Let's add a little more of this color now, especially in her little cheek. You can really darken this. And don't, don't be afraid to add some colors to it. So uh, you can add some more warm brown to the skin tone. The more layers that you put on here, the darker it's gonna get. So easy. And there's not a lot of it to do. That's the other great thing about this image is there's not a lot of skin tone, which can be really intimidating. Uh, keep the color dark underneath. You can see the light would be coming straight down on top of her arm. So in order to make that look contoured, we want to make sure that we have the darkest color underneath. Let's add some more dark in here where her hair is. Looks pretty good. And let's add a little um, shadow in here on her dress. And that would be using the number 86. So number 86 African Violet. Oops, that's not it. Let me grab that one. This is number 86 African Violet. And it looks very similar to Prussian Blue, which is this one. In fact, if you look at the caps, they're identical. So be really careful you don't pick up the wrong one. And we're gonna add some, just a little bit of water to this. We're gonna kind of follow these fabric lines here. So just take your brush and just follow these little lines with the blue. You can still see where they are, even though you've stamped over the top. And just put this back in. Along the back side too, just a little bit, don't overdo it. And in here where her little sleeve is, this makes a big difference to do that. Just a little shadow. And a little bit under here where her dress is, we would for sure see that. And under her little shoes. Okay, that's pretty much all we have to do on her. Uh, you can add a little detail to here if you want to. A little detailing like that. Uh, but let's go on and add her little flowers into her basket. That's really easy to do. So we're gonna just use a, a little post-it note and just cover this little line up here. And let's take our little flowers and we're gonna use that Prussian blue this time. So this is number 29, Prussian blue. And we're gonna do the blooms and the stems. So the stems would be olive green. And we want this to be um, pretty simple, so we don't need a whole bunch in here. So let's just get a few, uh, just like that. And we can remove that. We have a lot going on here with this dress, so we don't wanna overdo uh, the background and all of these little accessories because this is really busy right here, and this is our focal point. So we wanna just do a little bit um, in this basket. And just add a water to that. Just easy like that. And then let's go ahead and add our grasses in. So this is our little tiny grass. This is from the foliage set. I'm gonna ink this in the olive green and tuck this right in here behind her foot. And you can see that her foot is coming up off the grass. So I wanna kind of tuck that in underneath. And this one too is kind of up in the air. So we wanna keep that underneath her foot. And actually let's just Put a little bit more under here. We can do that. Do the brush and pull that color up and out, up and out. Just like so. Uh, let's put some little flowers in the background now and we wanna keep these subtle. So here's those same little flowers that we used in her basket. So I'm gonna ink that the same way again. So this is the Prussian blue. Ink the little blooms and then ink the vine. And I'm just going to stamp this off one time. I want this to be really soft and subtle in the background. So very light, just like this. And let's ink that one more time. We don't want that too dark. We don't want to take away from the, our focal point here. here and 
going to stamp that off again, just one time, and just do a few more back in here. Just slightly add water to that. I want these to be pretty light. They don't have to be perfect. You can just kind of dab all over the place with these. So cute. You don't do anything with the stems. You can hit the little leaves uh, with water if you want to, but really, um, you don't have to do much else. Okay, so let's add our uh, sky in. And that would be the Prussian blue. So we want to start out with that really, really light. So we're going to add water to that and just kind of brush this in. Uh, stay away from these sepia lines. So we don't want to get uh, water. We don't want to draw that color into the lines here, into the sky. If you get that sepia into the blue, it'll kind of uh, turn a little muddy. So we want to make this really, really blue, the sky. And this too, the more that the more color you add to it, the darker it's going to be. And less is more. It's always it's always less is more with the sky when you're doing the sky. Don't overdo this. Just the idea of it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we are about finished with her. You can always go back in and add a few more details uh, if you want to. Especially in the dress. Yeah, a few more little shadows in here. And on the sleeve. And we are about finished with her. So cute. We just need to sign a date. That's always the last step. And put that on a card or put it in a frame and give it away. You are gonna make someone's day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.